Welcome to this class. In this class, we are going to discuss about how to find poles of functions and how to determine the order of those poles. So the first problem is the function f of z given by z squared over z minus a, z minus b, and z minus c. And the second function is f of z equals to z e raised power i z over z squared plus a squared. Now to find the faults of the function, you simply take the denominator and equate to zero, and then solve the resulting equation. So we say, faults are obtained by equating the denominator to zero then solving the resulting question so in part a We'll say z minus a times z minus b times z minus c we equate to zero. This means z minus a is zero, z minus b is zero, and <coughs> z minus c is zero. And then this being linear functions in Z, uh, it implies that Z equals to A, Z equals to B, and Z equals to C are actually simple poles because the power of each of these linear terms was one, are simple poles. When you say simple poles means poles of order one. Or first order of the function f of z. This function was given by z squared over z minus a, z minus b and then z minus c. So this is how we give the answer to the first problem. But b, we do the same thing, equate the denominator of the function to zero. So we'll have z squared plus a squared equals to zero. And you see this is the same as writing z squared minus a i squared equals to zero, which is the same thing as writing z minus a i times z plus a i equals to zero. So this is simply a difference of two squares. So which means z minus a i equals to zero or z plus a i is equals to zero i e z equals to a i and z equals to minus a i are the poles of the function f of z given by z e raised power i z divided by z squared plus a squared and then the order of each pole is one i e 
they are simple forms. So that's how we solve that part B of the problem, that these are the poles of the function. And then another problem, if we have C given by F of Z equals to Z minus three over Z minus two squared times Z plus one, as usual, to find the poles, take the denominator, equate to zero, and then solve. So we'll say Z minus two squared Z plus one is equals to zero. Now I'll do the same thing as saying Z minus two times another Z minus two times Z plus one would give us zero. It's not hard to see that z equals to one, uh, z equals to two, two, and z equals to negative one. So this is what you are doing that z minus two equals to zero, z minus two equals to zero, and then z plus one equals to zero. So solving this linear equations resulting to these solutions. So we say Z equals to two is a pole of order two. For the function F of Z given by Z minus three over Z minus two squared Z plus one while Z equals to negative one is a simple pole. I remember when you say simple pole, we mean pole of other one. So that's what we have for that particular problem. And lastly, C, at D, if we have F of Z given by one over Z minus two, Z minus one. So as usual, you say poles are given by taking the denominator equal to zero, so which means Z minus two equals to zero and Z minus one equals to zero. So this means Z equals to two and Z equals to one are poles of order one. Actually that should mean simple poles. For the function f of z given. So that's generally how we find faults of functions. We simply take the denominator of the function and equate to zero, then solve that equation. And then the power of each linear term determines the order of the form in that particular problem. Thank you.